Now I'm used to running uh, long distances, so big endurance events, 26.2 miles, marathons and beyond. What I'm not used to doing is running that where the oxygen is so thin that it really catches your breath and actually doing really, really high intensity bursts of, uh, of running in a short space of time. We generally call the altitude chamber the personal best factory because most people that come in here to train for an event you know, see quite quick results. What we're going to be doing today is we're, we're going to use a uh, normal treadmill to do a bit of a warm up. Then we're going to go onto a non motorised treadmill. Um, with the non motorised treadmill, it's going to be quite tough. Basically, this thing can accelerate at whatever speed you can accelerate and it can go as fast as you can go. So there's no restrictions, no buttons, it's just, you know, flat out from the gun. Go! One, two, three, go! Four, five, six! Exercising at altitude is more anaerobic. So you go into that anaerobic zone a lot earlier and anaerobic exercise uses a lot more um, energy to actually perform. The way that we reduce the amount of oxygen is a process called molecular sieving. Basically we take normal London air, we put it through a number of filters and then we force it through membranes that can separate uh, oxygen particles out because most of the other gas that you breathe is nitrogen. The gas that's coming in from the vents in the room is about 10% oxygen. The room itself you can set anywhere from sea level right up to 4,600 metres. Um, and I think 4,600 is about 12% oxygen. At that sort of a height, you can't really do much more than walking. I think, you know, in terms of cardio exercise, most people that go to your everyday gyms are trying to keep a lid on their weight. Um, personally, I don't see why you would exercise in anything other than an altitude chamber given the accelerated calorie burn. Um, and then also in terms of fitness gains, you can get you know, the same sort of adaptions and fitness improvements in half the time. Um, so yeah, I think it's, uh, it's new, it's cutting edge, um, but I definitely think it's going to take off. We're still sitting 93% of your heart rate max. The recovery is going to take a bit longer than normal here. Just keep breathing right into the bottom of your lungs. Nice big breaths. Overall, I think right now I feel like I've, rather than just having done what essentially is about 12 minutes exercise, my body feels like I've just been put through probably more like an hour. One thing I will say is that it is really, really tough. I can't kind of uh, overstate how much this is kind of a, a test on your endurance even though you're going for a short period of time.